An arch is in the shape of a parabola. It has a span of 196 meters and a maximum height of 14 meters. We're asked to find an equation for the arch, then determine the height of the arch, 72 meters from the center, and the distance from the center at which the height is two meters. To begin, we can represent the arch using a parabola that opens down, as pictured here on the right. And we'll let the y-axis be the axis of symmetry, and because the maximum height is 14 meters, we'll let the point zero comma 14, this point, let's say here, be the vertex of the parabola. And then because the span is 196 meters, and 196 divided by two is equal to 98, we'll let one x-intercept be 98 comma zero, and the second intercept be negative 98 comma zero. This indicates the parabola would look something like this. Where again, the x-intercept on the right, this point here, would be 98 comma zero, and the x-intercept on the left, this point here, would be negative 98 comma zero. Again, notice how this gives a width along the x-axis of 196 meters, which is the span of the arch. From here, we need to recognize the equation would be in the form of the square of x minus h equals four p times the quantity y minus k, where h comma k is the vertex, and because the parabola opens down along the negative x-axis, p would be less than zero. So again, the equation is going to be in the form of the square of x minus h equals four p times the quantity y minus k. From here, we know the vertex is the point zero comma 14, which indicates h is zero and k is 14. Making these substitutions, we have the equation x squared equals four p times the quantity y minus 14. And now to find p or four p, we can use one of the x-intercepts and perform substitution. Let's go ahead and use the x-intercept on the right or the point 98 comma zero. So using 98 comma zero, we substitute 98 for x and zero for y. This gives us the square of 98 is equal to four p times the quantity zero minus 14 or just negative 14. Now from here, we can go ahead and solve this equation for 4p because 4p is what's missing from the equation. The other option would be to solve for p and then sub p into the equation and then multiply by four. But of course it saves some work if we simply divide both sides by negative 14. Simplifying, we now have 4p is equal to the square of 98 divided by negative 14, which is negative 686. So now that we know 4p, we know our equation is x squared equals 4p is equal to negative 686, and we have times the quantity y minus 14. Now that we have the equation of the arch, we can answer the two questions. We can determine the height of the arch, 72 meters from the center, and also determine the distance from the center at which the height is two meters. Let's do this on the next slide. On this slide, we have a nice graph of the parabola, and then below we have the equation we just found. And now to determine the height of the arch, 72 meters from the center, we can use x equals 72, or x equals negative 72, and then determine the corresponding y value, where the y value would be the height. Let's go ahead and let x equals 72, and we'll substitute 72 for x in our equation. This gives us the square of 72 is equal to negative 686 times the quantity y minus 14. And now we need to solve for y. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 686. This gives us the square of 72 divided by negative 686 equals y minus 14. And then to solve for y, we add 14 to both sides. We have y equals the square of 72 divided by negative 686 plus 14, which gives us y is approximately 6.44, and of course this would be meters. And now to answer the second question, 
which is find the distance from the center at which the height is two meters. So to answer this question, we're given y equals two, and we have to find x. So if we know y is equal to two, or two meters, again, using our equation, we substitute two for y, which gives us x squared is equal to negative 686 times the quantity two minus 14. With simplifying, we have x squared equals negative 686 times negative 12. Negative 686 times negative 12 equals 8,232, giving us x squared equals 8,232. And now we take the square root of both sides of the equation and include a plus or minus on the right because we do have a positive and negative solution. This gives us x is approximately equal to plus or minus 90.73 meters. So to answer the question, the distance from the center, the height is two feet, would be 90.73 meters. This means we can be either to the right or left of center, 90.73 meters, and the height will be two meters. I hope you found this helpful.